Ryan, thanks so much for joining me today. We were talking all about what I picked up in Italy, so if you'd like to see that, please keep watching. I was really only planning on picking up one item on our trip to Italy. I had planned it for quite a long time, um, but I did end up finding a few really great items that I thought I'd share with you, and also a few things that are made in Italy that I thought you could either visit their shops while you were there, and I'll leave some contact information if you are not going to Italy anytime soon, but you're interested in the products, you can deal directly with the people that I spoke with. First off, I was interested in cosmetics, but I wanted to find things that were made in Italy and weren't available to me here in the United States because I felt like if they were available here, then I could just pick them up here. Um, like Kiko Cosmetics was one of the things you suggested, but I know that they have shops here. I also know that Santa Maria Novella is one of the other brands which I could access here as well. Now this particular brand is one that I cannot get here, but if I really wanted to, I could call the store and then we could work out how shipping and all that works, but depending on where you live, that will also impact it. This is actually available in other countries in Europe and also the Middle East. It's just not available to us here in the United States. They're made in Italy. I really like why they started. They just wanted to close that gap in terms of high quality makeup and the price point. So they kind of cut out all the intermediate steps and they have a background in cosmetics and manufacturing and skincare and things like that, which allowed them the insight to be able to eliminate those steps to make the price point more accessible. This is a true last foundation up to 24 hours waterproof with no transfer. I actually have that on right now. So I'm filmed right before this, everything um, in terms of trying it on and then my review on everything. But this reminds me a lot of the Tom Ford waterproof foundation and concealer. Really nice product. I also picked up this metal film. It's an eyeshadow and it is, let's see, I think it's in the shade Amber. And this was one of the warmest colors they had. They had a lot of cool shades, but I picked this up it's really, again, nice finish on it. I have it on my eyes now. Then I tried out their cream blush and cream highlighters. I love a good cream blush and highlighter, especially in the heat. And I picked it up in soft brick and also um, the highlighter is in bronze. So we went there for our, our anniversary and so I picked all of this makeup to wear for an anniversary dinner. Um, so I was going for that bronzier look. Plus I had a little bit more of a tan, so it worked really well. Then I picked up the Louis Matte Creamy Lipsticks as well, which I have on underneath the Lucky Diamonds by Charlotte Tilbury. I also picked up a brush and a sponge. Wanted to give those a go and see how they worked. And then I cannot believe I forgot my mascara. So I went on the hunt for mascara and they have like little teeny tiny makeup displays in their drugstores. I mean, it's just like one thing. It's not like our drugstores here where there are aisles and aisles. It was just one little thing. So I picked up the, I think they had a couple mascaras, but the Euphedra Mascara Extra Volume. I liked this enough, or I loved this enough to pick up another one before we left because I wasn't sure we could get it here. So I haven't checked yet if I can, but I did pick up two of those. So that's it for makeup. I wanted to move on to my bigger purchases. Then we went sunglass shopping. I didn't necessarily need sunglasses, but my husband was looking. And that's of course he was looking for them. I looked on the shelf and found a pair. I just looked at them right away. I thought those are gonna work for me. So I put them on and as soon as I put them on, they worked for me. So it's interesting, they're willing to bargain a little bit more there, it seems like. I'm not sure if that's traditionally how they do it, but since we bought two pairs, they, the price came down quite a bit. Um, and it was almost like just buying, it was almost like a two for one by the time we walked out of there. And these are by Tom Ford. I looked for lightweight sunglasses that have the nose pads on the inside. So if you have like Asian bone structure and your cheeks come out far here, like your cheekbones and your sunglasses rest on your cheekbones. I don't like that because it messes with my makeup. Um, so I look for ones that sit further away from my face and also have the nose pads because otherwise they're sliding down all the time, especially in the heat. So I found these. These are the Penelope frames and they're just like the perfect frame. I like larger frames and I like how they go up at the ends. So as soon as I put them on, I knew I had to get them. Plus they provide a little bit more protection for this area on my face that I try to keep out of the sun because I have those darker areas that can get kind of um, more pronounced in the sun when I'm exposed to the sun. So really, really loved these. So I would highly recommend these if you're looking for larger frames. Plus sometimes, I don't know if you've noticed, sometimes the space between these two lenses is too 
wide on bigger lasses, which makes it look kind of like um, more like an insect. But these are closer together here, so I really liked that style. So if you're looking for, and they're available online and on all kinds of shops here, but these are the Tom Ford Penelope's. Very happy to have these. In fact, I ordered some with prescription lenses because I need them to drive. But these are great for like sitting by the pool and reading a magazine because I don't need glasses to see closely. Yeah, I don't need them to read. This next purchase was not a planned one either, but I, this store exemplifies how I want all of my clothing to be manufactured. I am not a fan of fast fashion, although I have bought a couple of fast fashion pieces every once in a while. It's mostly because out of like, I just want to mix it up. It's out of boredom of my wardrobe. Um, but in the end, my goal in terms of purchasing clothing, this store fit that mold. So I appreciate things that are handmade. I appreciate items that take time to be made. I appreciate the history in a brand um, and just the high quality aspect of clothing that you know you'll wear forever. That is my type of clothing. So when we went to the store and talked to the owners and learned a little bit more about their store, the more impressed I was with them and the fact that I had to get something. So if you go to the Isle of Capri, which is off the coast, of Naples and Sorrento. It's a place that opens up pretty much just in the summer. So that's why you see everyone there. Go to Instagram, put in Capri as like a destination and it looks like, <laughs> it looks like it's been edited because every photo is beautiful and all the people there are beautiful. Just take a look because it, I was scrolling through like, is someone editing this? Because all the shots were gorgeous. First of all, the location, there's great history there. From what I understand, emperors used to go there to vacation. They went to the Blue Grotto. I mean, so it's been a destination for a long time. So one of the things about Capri is that it's hot. Usually when you go there, it's the summer. So linen is a staple wardrobe piece. So we went to a linen shop, handmade clothing in Capri. So I just, everything about that. Capri, handmade, linen, yes, I love it all. And then the owners, Antonio and Antonella, very sweet people. They actually made our reservation at the restaurant where they, it's a restaurant hotel, where they got married themselves um, in the Sorrento area for us. And it was a really special place. So thank you again, Antonio and Antonella for, for that. It was really, it was worth the drive. If you want me to tell you more about Italy and our experience there, I can do that. Just let me know, but the cab ride just, in US dollars to get from our hotel to the restaurant, one way was about $80 and it was only about four miles. So that tells you a little bit about how um, worth it it was to go there because round trip, I mean, you can figure out what the round trip was, but it was definitely worth it to go there and have that meal. So thank you again to Antonio and Antonella for that. But they are just really great people. This is a company um, according to Antonella and tell me, if I got this wrong, but from what I recall, her grandmother started this about 60 something years ago and started on Anna Capri. And so they have a shop now and they don't do online sales because they don't do fast fashion. They can't have all of this inventory ready to go, but you can order from them. So I will leave their contact information below and uh, let them know I sent you, but you can order from them. Really beautifully handmade. So I saw this dress and I know you can't see it, but it's white linen and it has an unusual A-line hem on it, which I really liked. Like I love a button down white shirt anyway. If you watch my videos, I want to say like every third video I'm wearing one and in real life too, I love a white crisp button down. So it's a take on the white button down, but it's a dress and I loved the A-line hem on it and I wore a pair of shorts with it. I also purchased a belt from them um, that I tied around the waist. So I'll put a little image of it here for you so you can see what it looks like. But those are really special pieces of clothing that I highly value. So I wish I could buy every piece of clothing with that kind of history and high quality about it. So I, I, yeah, I wish we had more handmade clothing stores in general, but of course there's a price tag that goes along with it, but it was a very special piece of clothing I wanted to purchase and also wore that 
for our anniversary. If you go there, visit them, and they have men's and children's, really cute children's clothing too. So if you are headed there, make sure you stop in and say hi to them. You can look online, or you can also follow their Instagram account because they will feature things in the store as well. But I'll put their contact information below if you are interested. But I wanted to give them a shout out because I just, I really appreciate that kind of craftsmanship and quality when it comes to clothing and they really are passionate about what they're doing and I can't say enough about them. So lastly, this is the one thing I really wanted to buy and this is something that I've been saving for, I'm gonna say years for. My parents have helped me save for it. I've been putting money away so it's not a purchase I made lightly, but I knew that in Italy, I was going to get a better deal just because of the tax break when you are purchasing overseas. I also haven't been buying many handbags because I knew this purchase was coming up and I really feel like I wish I had saved for this earlier. I also wish I hadn't purchased as many bags in the past in order to save for this because I feel like, at least for me, if I spend not very much on a bag and I don't use it, and I just feel like it takes up space and I wasted my money. So I finally decided this is what I'm gonna save for and this is what I'm going to buy and this is something I'm going to have forever. Before we talk about the bag too much, I checked out the store online, this store, Chanel. I wanted to check out the customer service because if you're buying something that's a lot of money, you want the customer service to be good. So I thought if this customer service isn't good, I'm not spending my money here and I guess I'll figure out some other place to spend it, another Chanel shop. But I read the reviews, they're kind of mixed, but when I walked into the store, I was pleasantly surprised at how helpful they were. I got help right away. They were very kind and wanted to do whatever they could to make the experience as positive as possible. So I would highly recommend the Chanel store in the Spanish Steps area. And let me see, can I remember the name of the, the woman who helped me? She was very nice. I believe her name was Eleonora. So if you're thinking of buying a Chanel bag and you are in Rome, I would not hesitate to go into that shop. But like I said, I was willing to just not spend my money if I didn't feel like the customer service was there, but it was. So um, this transaction went really quickly and I purchased my, this is like pretty much my dream bag um, because it's classic and I'm all about editing down to the very essentials. So I want to, I'm at the point in my life where I want to buy iconic pieces from each brand. So this is one of them. I'd love like a Burberry trench. I'd love, you know, those kinds of things. So I purchased this. Oh, look, see, I packed it up nicely too. That's not a part of the bag. It's just when I pack it, I pack it like I got it. Let me know if you want to see it. I mean, it's already unboxed, but let me know if you want to see an unboxing or like a featured bag video. I thought about it for a little while. I felt kind of uncomfortable. So when I feel a little bit uncomfortable about featuring something, I don't do it. But if you really want to see it, I will do it. I just, I don't know. I felt kind of funny about it, but I thought I would just throw it in this video. But this is the medium flap caviar so that i've looked at some pre-owned ones and they're all lambskin and i knew i was going to keep this bag forever so i didn't want to invest in a lambskin because i knew it would show scratches and things like that so this is a bag i'm going to use i'm not going to be like super careful with it um so i thought that the caviar finish was the best one for me so i finally picked it up i'm still learning about it i saw the small version i guess the small ones almost impossible to get. I saw the jumbo version and I, I've seen it in person. It looks too big, it just looked too big. So this was one I thought because of my height and my size, I'm about 5'7", was the perfect size because I could use it kind of as a clutch or I could use it as a handbag and it wouldn't look too small either. So it's the double flap and then here's the inside and then from what I understand, they're either made in France or made in Italy. So this one is made in Italy and it has the authenticity card and everything. But I think it's a really nice memory of Italy. So I know that I've purchased souvenirs in the past and I don't even know where they are, but these kinds of things, these investment pieces, I think are the wise things to purchase when you're overseas, especially if you're getting a tax break on it. I finally purchased my dream bag. I do have you know, a few other items that are on my list, but this was one big one. Here it is if you, you know, want to elongate the strap or go like this. 
But let me know if you want more, like a closer look at this bag, but I just wanted to give you some information about where I purchased it, what the experience was like. It was very positive, um, very friendly. The only thing I would recommend is that if you know you're going to be somewhere, to maybe call ahead and see a bag like this. They apparently got it in that morning and it was the last one left already. So if you're interested in a bag like this and you know you're going to uh, a certain store, I would call them ahead of time. It seems wise to call them first to see if your bag is even there because if this bag wasn't there, I wouldn't have gotten it. I would have been out of luck. So that is it for my Italy haul. I thought I'd make this different than my typical haul because that one's gonna be a long one anyway. So I will be doing my regular haul, my June, July haul. Yeah, I just thought this would be like way too long if I threw this stuff in as well. And I wanted to take time to talk about the linen store because I think that deserves you know, a few minutes to talk about and then as well as my experience with the Chanel bag purchase because this is a big investment and I feel like you want to make sure the customer service is that you want the whole thing to be positive positive. and if you're like me you saved a long time for it you want it to be a positive experience and it was so I just wanted to share that with you so again let me know if you want more detail or like a tour of the, I don't know what you want to see unboxing I wasn't sure I actually did a little um, unboxing in the hotel room that I filmed just so I could remember how it looked as I was unwrapping it because I did unwrap it in order to pack. I can reenact the unboxing because I have everything including like the little camellia flowers and everything and I have the bags, the like shopping bag it came in so let me know if you want to see anything like that. I'm also planning doing a bag collection now that I feel like I, there's pretty much just one bag I feel like I need after this. Um, but I can show you what I have so far. So I fully intended to vlog, but we were having so much fun. I just forgot to pick up the camera. And so I, that's when I went to Instagram and started posting a bunch of stuff on Instagram because I knew that the vlog probably wasn't gonna come together like I wanted it to, but I can definitely do a like tips video on travel to Italy or at least travel to where we visited. Like some of the restaurants we went to were really great. Some of the places we stayed were really great, not all, but some of them. Um, and then just some of the finds that we had, like the shops and um, some travel tips. Like if you're going to go from Rome to Naples to Capri, like how to do that whole ticket thing. We learned a little lesson there with that. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of the best ways we got around too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.